Matthew 11, reading from verse 28. To 30. But we open our Bible to Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Go reach 30. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Matthew 11, verse 28. Go reach 30. It's called the Great Invitation. The topic for today means say, person when big, when they call you, may you come visit them. Jesus speaking here says, Jesus, they talk for you. He talks, say, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. See me, you come meet and you and me say that problem, the trouble here and there, and they make you the tired. And I will give you rest. Say, go give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. So you take a yoke and me, you can learn about them. For I am meek and lowly in heart. You say, In this soft too, and it is simple for heart. And you shall find the rest. Unto your soul. Say you can see rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy. He said, My yoke they easy. Oh. And my body is light. And for you to follow me, see this simple way. Well. The great invitation from the body bearer. This is not a big invitation. When we say person when we say they carry person wala, they call you me, you come meet them. Come unto me, all ye that labor. And a heavy lady. It's me you come meet him. All you when me say when I get problem, get wall, I get katakata here and they make you gonna come meet him. And I'll give you rest. And say you will give all of na rest. There is a difference between walking diligently and laboring. Different day between say you they walk your work with all your art. The other one be say you can't they suffer, they do the work. A lot of difference. Big different day. The one who is called a laborer tells you someone who has to work very hard and get very little pay. The one that they call laborer, that person when they say go work big work, it's very strong work. When a small money they can't give him at the end. The moment you hear laborer, you know what that means. As you hear laborer, you understand what that will mean. You don't call the manager a laborer. You know they call person and be manager for company laborer. Both of them go to work in the morning. Now two of them they go work in the morning. One goes to work. One of them they go to work. One goes to labor. Why the other one are labor work now they go to in Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. For Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. In Genesis 2 verse 15. In Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. The Bible made it clear. Adam was busy. The Bible can't tell us. Say Adam, oh, they busy. They work oh. before he was working. Adam, he they work. God gave him a whole garden. If we are to believe Bible scholars, God give him one big garden. If we could come believe those people when we say they interpret the Bible, the Garden of Eden would be about the size of Lagos State. See this Garden of Eden, if it be rich Lagos State. To ask a single man. To keep a garden the size of Lagos State, that's no joke. That's a lot of work. To contact one person, maybe say, can't keep God when big rich Lagos State. Not be small work with that, or not big work with that. Even if the garden is just the size of the camp, that's still a lot of work. Even if the garden is just like this redemption camp, that's still big work with that. But he was working. But Abraham is the work. Not laboring. Abraham not the labor. It is after he fell into sin. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. And after Abraham come commit sin, for Genesis chapter 3, for 17, go reach 19. Genesis 3, verse 17 to 19. Genesis chapter 3, verse 17, go reach 19. That he began to labor. And that time, because he started the labor. That was the time now that when he walks, he sweated. This time, when he can't walk, he can't he sweat. Before... Keeping the garden was fun. Before, to just the take care of the garden and you know, enjoyment be that. He, he never had to sweat. You know, they sweat, they do the work. But after he fell, laboring began. After he come fall, Yakata, into sin, you know, he come to start the labor. He began to sweat. He come to suffer the sweat. And after sweating, the only thing that was growing was thorns. And tissues. After I do sweat, plant to so, take care of the garden. The only thing we can grow for the ground is no, shuku, shuku and grass. In Luke chapter five, verse five. For Luke chapter five, verse five. Luke five, verse five. Luke five, verse five. Peter 
toiled all night and caught nothing. That is laboring. Peter, oh, he go fish all through the night to so enough he catch any fish. Not, not a person when they labor. That's different from walking. That one different for person when they do walk. If throughout the night, as Peter was throwing the net, he was pulling in fish. If during the night when Peter go fish, as he throw a net put for a river, he can't catch fish and he put the fish inside a boat. Throwing the net, pulling in fish, so that by the morning his boat was full. As they throw the net, they catch the put inside the boat. They throw the net, they catch the put inside the boat. Before money go reach, the boat go down full with fish. They won't call that labor. That one will not go feel call and labor. They will call it hard work. We we'll call that one hard work. You say, oh, the work is hard, but thank God. There's something to show for you. We'll Peter say, ah, the work hard, but we'll say, thank God, say, Peter gets what he will fish you for the hard work when he don't do. In the name that's above every other name. For the name when we say big pass every other name. I prophesy to someone. And then they talk to into one person life. Your days of laboring ended last year. Your day when we say you did suffer, it don't end last year. When a man walks hard, toiled, and, and there's nothing to show for it, that's laboring. That's laboring. When a man does suffer, do work here and there, you not get anything to show for that. That one, a labor, now they call that one. That's laboring. A labor, would they call that one. The manager sits in his air conditioned office. The manager there in the office when we say get a condition. He could be there very early in the morning. I know some very good managers. If he's there very early in the morning. Occasionally, I mean, when I have to go to Lagos for Manzion hour in order to beat the traffic. Me, sometimes when we say they go to Lagos for Manzion hour for me to beat the traffic. I leave the camp. As early as 5 a.m. I need to leave the camp very, very early. As early as 5 a.m. That's good work. That one a good work. I get there. At times I have to lay hands on 15,000 people. When I reach there, sometimes now 15,000 people, now they, they lay my hand on. 20,000 people. Sometimes now 20,000 people. Hard work. That one a hard work. Oh. But I get results. There's results they come. I get testimonies. I get testimony when people they share consign the lane of hand. There's joy in the life of people. Happiness is the inside people's life. That's good work. Hard work. That one is good work, but a hard work. I don't mind it at all. That one did not trouble me. Oh. The chair and the manager gets up early in the morning. Some of them get to Lagos very early. Some of the manager they come up for us very early and they'll come reach Lagos very early. Because by the time I get to Lagos from the camp, get to Lagos around uh, 5.30, 5.40. Sometimes when we say I can't reach Lagos for 5.30 or 5.40 from the camp. The road is already full. So there are some people already hurrying to work. The road already full with people. It means say uh, many people don't already their road, they already go work. But he gets something for what he's doing. The benefit of all who they suffer on the road, they suffer people feel sick for their life. And he doesn't have to sweat. And those managers, they don't need to sweat. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your laboring in vain ended last year. The labor will suffer when you don't they suffer since now last year, now he end. <laughs> There's a difference between walking under open heavens. Difference day when we say you they walk and your heaven they open. And walking under closed heavens. And when your heaven they close. When the heavens are open over you. Huh, according to Deuteronomy 28, verses 11 and 12. When the heaven they open over you, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 11 and 12. Deuteronomy 28, verses 11 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 11 and 12. The heaven gives the rain in due season. The heaven go come and rain come for the right time. You walk, you get harvest. You can't walk, you can't see the result of your walk. And as a result, very soon, you begin to learn to nation. And in number two, two, you can start to the borrow other nation money. When the heavens are open. When the heavens, they open. When the heavens are closed. But when your heaven can't they close. According to Deuteronomy 28, verse 23 to 24. 
According to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 23, go reach 24. Deuteronomy 28, 23 to 24. Deuteronomy 28, 23, go reach 24. <laughs> the Almighty God said the rain that falls will be like powder. The Almighty God come to us say the rain will come fall, it will be like powder. That means the effort will be just useless. It means all the suffer when they suffer or just suffer in vain. Plant yam like others are planting their yams, no rain. You go plant yam like the way other people they plant yam, no rain will go fall. Plant maize, no rain. You go plant corn the way other people they plant corn, no rain will fall. Because the heavens are closed. Because the heaven, God will close them. In the name of the one who made heaven and earth. The name of that person when we say come make heaven and earth. From this moment onward. From this time onward. Oh, the heavens will remain open over you. The heaven will go there open at a heaven on top of you. Several years ago, I began to go to a particular place in America. Many years when they pass, so they go one particular place to America. I don't want to mention the place now because all over the world now they are listening to what I'm saying. And I don't want to call the name of the place because all over the world the people they listen to which are they talk. I will go. And because of the law of harvest, I will sow. I will go to that place so because of the law of harvest, so I will sow seed of faith there. We were very poor then. We not get money for to redeem that time, oh. But I wanted to sow my way out of poverty. I want to make sure, say, I sow so that I can come up from poverty level. The very little money we had, we change it to dollars. The small money we we'll get, we we'll change it to dollars. And got to get there and give offerings upon offerings. We we'll go to that place. We we'll come to give offering upon offerings. After about two or three years, I said to God. <laughs> Where is the harvest? After two years or three years or past, I can't ask God, say, ah ah, Baba God, where my harvest now? By now, things ought to get better. By now, things for the better. According to the word of God, and I know forever, oh Lord, that word is settled. So, what's happening? According to your word, because I know say forever, your word is settled. So, Baba God, what is going to happen? God gave me a dream. And God come make me make a dream for one night. And in the dream, I saw myself as a farmer. For that dream, I can't see myself say I be farmer. With several heaps of yam. And I can't see all the ground when we say I don't dig into heaps when I plant yam put. Over a very large area of, of uh, land. And I do that thing for one big land. Planted with yam. But the yam wasn't growing. I plant all this place when I don't dig with yam. But the yam not the green, they grew. And in that, that dream, the same question I asked before I slept kept up to my mind. And for that dream, oh, the dream when we say, I ask God before I can't sleep, and that dream can't come to my mind. You know, came up in my mind again, and I said, ah, why is my yam not germinating? What's going on? I could ask, why be say my yam when I plant all the grew? What could they happen? And it was as if something nudged me and said, hey, check under the yam. And you come like say something come knock me, come to say, check under the yam when you plant. And as I began to check heap after heap, I found that the ground over which I had made my heaps was concrete. I can't they begin to the check more heap to the other heap. I can't find out say the ground when we say I make this my heap on pond, put yam, a concrete night day button. I woke up. With a start. I can't wake up. The thing can't they trouble me. And God spoke to me and said, You are sowing on concrete ground. And God can't tell me, saying that concrete ground that you they sow your seed put. That's why you are not getting the harvest. Did I make you know if they see results. In the name that's above every other name. For the name when we say big pass every other name. You will never sow on concrete ground again. You're not going to sow for that ground when we say be concrete again. <laughs> Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. It's a passage you know. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Now that Bible passage when we say many of you now know. Almighty God said bring all the tithes. 
into the storehouse. The Almighty God, may you collect all the tithes come put for the storehouse. He said, Then I will open the heavens. He said, That, that time we will call open the heavens. So when the heavens are open, everything a man touches begins to prosper. When the heaven come open, everything when we say that man put the hand on top, that thing will bring results. When the heavens are open. When the heavens they open. So the man who can carry your body say, Come unto me. The man when go fit carry your wala, carry your trouble, it's me you come meet him. You who are laboring, you are heavy laden. He say you when be say you they labor and you know they get results. You when be say you they suffer here and there. Say I give you rest. He say I go give you rest, enjoyment. But he say when you come, he say come and learn. Of me. He said, but when you come, or may you come, you can learn about them. I thank God you are able to come this morning to learn. I thank God soon I don't come this morning, you can learn. Because in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Because for Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. The, the Bible said clearly. The Bible talking clear, clear to us. That the book of the law will not depart. From your mouth. He said, "This book of the law, you know, make it not come out from your mouth. You must keep learning. You must keep meditating. You're supposed to continue to learn about them every day by day. You must keep on digesting the word of. You must think about them every day by day. But he said, then you will have good success. He said, at that time you can't get good success. There is a difference between success and good success. Difference there between." For you to succeed and for you to get better success. And there is someone here today who will begin to enjoy good success. One person there here today will be saying, from this day on world, a good success you could get. In Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 and 2. But Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1, go reach 2. Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 and 2. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1, go reach 2. The word of God said, If you will hearken diligently, the word of God comes to say, If you will come here with you, they talk well, well. To the voice of the Lord your God, hearken, hearken diligently. To the voice of God, Ali, we hear with you the whole of your heart. Don't just listen. Happen. You know, you're the listening, you know, but you the hear and you the hear them from your heart. Pay close attention. You go this serious for which you the hear. Observe and do. And you can't see them and you can't do them. All that I command you. All which I don't command you. He said in his word, he said, You are not the one who will be pursuing blessing. He can't talk and for a word. It's not be you with the pursue blessing. No. It is blessing that will be pursuing you. It's in our blessing with the pursue you. That is the word of God. Now the word of God be that. That's the promise of the Almighty God. Now God promise be that. There's a time in a man's life when God can bless you so much. Time day for man life when we say God will come bless you. So say you will say to God, God, this is too much. Only you can tell God, say this is what you do for me or day too much. And I believe that that time has come for someone here this morning. I believe say that time don't come for one person live this morning. He said, "Learn of me." It's make you call learn about me. I've always told you, my children, if I tell you to do anything, and it is not in the Bible, don't do it. I don't tell you my picking. Say if I tell you I make you do something, and it is not inside Bible, make you not do one. If I in my preaching, if I make a point and I don't support it with a passage from the Bible, ignore it. See, if I can't preach and I'm not going to support what they preach from the Bible, make on not do more. Because human philosophy will pass away. Things when we say, man, think I can't arrange by themselves. Those things will come and it will go. But the word of God will stand forever. But the word of God will remain. If I can show you in the Bible. If I feel show you for inside the Bible. Then you must do it. Then you're supposed to do them. When I joined the Redeemed Christian Church of God, we never gave offerings. When I joined the Redeemed Christian Church of God, we know they give offering. No, 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 no. You pay your tithe, finish. If, after you don't pay your tithe, you don't finish with that. I said, why? I can't ask, why do they do this thing? They said, because we're a mixture. He said that because people went there, yeah, that people when we say believe God, and people will not believe God. When we come to church, 
sinners mix with Christians. See when we come to church, that people when they commit sin, that people when we say be Christians, that they mix together. And we don't want the money of sinners. And we don't want the money of sinners. I agree. But what about those of us who are Christians? Continent say I agree. What of those of us when we say will be Christians? And we were all very poor. And, those, and we just remain poor. And we are very, very poor. And we can still remain poor. It is written, Give and you shall be. Yeah. And the writer and say, Give so that they will still give you. I saw it in the Bible. I don't see it from the Bible. So even though we were not giving offering in the church, I was giving offering. To the pastors. Even though we know they give offering for church that time, but they give the pastors offering. Privately. Secretly, they give the pastors offering. We were not clapping. You won't believe it. We know they clap that time. I know so many of them are not believe this one. When we sang choruses in those days, we never clapped. When they sing chorus in those days, we know they clap. As the elders, yeah, they will tell you. If you ask those people when we say the oath for the church, they go tell you now. We never clap. We know they clap that time. I say why? Because they why not they do this thing? They say it is worldly. To clap oh, the people of the world now they do that thing. We never beat drum drum. We know they beat drum at all, oh. <laughs> No guitar. We know they play guitar himself. No trumpet. No, 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 no. No trumpet. Nothing, nothing. Only the organ. The only organ that they play that time. Everything was solemn. Everything they do, just they quiet. Beautiful. Although it didn't find no. I can't say ah. I can't say ah. <laughs> Forever, O oh Lord. Thy word is set to. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is set to. Lord. I said the Bible says, clap your hands, all ye people. Because the Bible now can't tell me, say, make we clap our hands, everybody. The first time we started clapping our hands in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the elders had the meeting. The first time we started to clap our hands for the Redeemed Christian Church of God, though, the old people for the church called who meeting? Over me. Because of me. Thank God in the Redeemed Christian Church of God we don't vote. Thank God say for Redeemed Christian Church of God we know the vote. They would have voted me out of power. Even though they for don't vote me come out for power. They said I wanted to spoil the church. They thought say I won't spoil the church. Why? Because I asked people to clap. Why you? They say that because I say many people start to clap. I say it is there in the Bible, Psalm forty-six, verse one. I say it there for Bible for Psalm forty-six, verse one. Clap your hands, all ye people. Say clap your hands, everybody. You can imagine what happened when, when, when we began to beat drums. When I tried, think what you call up when we say we can start to the beat drums. Oh, there was uh, an uproar. I tell you, my people, people started to the complain here and there. And then we brought in guitar. After we can carry guitar, join us. I say it is there, it is there. I can't tell you, I say it did there or it did inside Bible. You have to beat drums, simba. You say you need to beat drums, you need to beat simba, you trumpet. You need to blow trumpets. You have to shout. You need to shout. When I say shout, you know, I don't say when I talk, say shout. They say shouting. They say shouting. That's why I keep bringing you back to the Bible. The Bible. Let me make a the carol and they go back to the Bible. This Bible is the word of God that is forever set to. The Bible now, the word of God when they forever it is set to. And is the one who said in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. Now you can talk for Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9, go reach 10. Proverbs 3, 9 to 10. Proverbs 3, 9, go reach 10. He is the one who said, Honor the Lord with your substance and the increase of your the first fruit of your 
increase. Now, it doesn't mean you honor God with what you get and the first money or the first crop what you get from your farm. Ah, the first time I taught that one, oh God. There were people who said, ha. He's teaching false fruit. That first one I can't teach that one. The people can't shout. Hey, now, wow. They say, don't they teach first fruit? We wanted to take our first salary. Now, because he won't collect all our first salary. I'm not the one who wrote the Bible. That means me write the Bible. Some, some, when I met some very highly educated people said to me, sir, that is in the Old Testament. Many people when be saying no book, well, well, can't tell me, say, oh, God. That one our Old Testament today. I said, really? They said, yes. It's not in the New Testament. I tell you, it's not true. They say, yes, so. They say, this one not the New Testament at all. I said, good. I said, that one, they good, though. So let's throw away the Old Testament. I'll continue. So yeah, I'm going to throw away the Old Testament. I shall be head, I shall not be tail. Is that in the New Testament? I go be head, I not go be tail. Oh. That one, the New Testament today. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Is that in Thessalonians? The Lord that my shepherd, oh, I not go want anything. Oh. That one, bless not Thessalonians, I do. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Is that in the book of Revelation? No weapon when we say the enemy don't gather against me or come succeed. Though. That one at the book of Revelation, I do. He said, Come and learn of me. He said, May you come, may you come learn about me. Study the word of God. Stay close to the word of God. Study the word of God. May you stay close to the word of God. And you will have good success. And you can't get better success. Pay attention to what God is saying. Then you can't listen. Well, well, what did God they talk? In this year of new era. This time when we say everything and new new things they happen. Pay attention to what God is saying. Listen to him carefully. Follow everything in detail. Follow what he God they talk step by step. And you will be amazed how he will prosper you. You think God will surprise you? How God will continue to make you prosper. Look at Luke chapter 5. Oh, look, Luke chapter 5. Verse 1 to 7. Verse 1, go read 7. Luke 5, verse 1 to 7. Luke chapter 5, verse 1, go read 7. Peter fished all night. He caught nothing. Peter go fish all through the night too. Enough he catch one single fish. Jesus came into the boat and told him, cast your nets. Jesus can't enter inside the boat. He can't tell us, send me you cut all your nets when you get. He said, I will only cast a net. The Peter can say, ah, my you try, cast only one net. Jesus said, no problem. Jesus can't tell us, say, well, no problem. No. You are shortchanging yourself. Now you didn't make yourself, may you not get all the blessing you're supposed to get. I said, nets. I say all the nets when you get. He threw in only one. He can't tr- throw one, only one net inside the river. And caught enough fish to fill two boats. Hey, that is enough. He can't catch fish when fill two boats. He can't say that one don't reach you. Huh. What if he had thrown all the nets? What if it can't happen? Like say he throw all the nets when he gets inside the river. Can you imagine the number of fish he would have caught? Now if you think about the number of fish when he say he can't catch there are some of you, if by the end of this year now, God has provided you with a new car. Some of you now, one day, by the end of this year, if God can't provide you now with a new car. A new house. A new house. A bigger job. A better job. You say, oh, glory be to God. You can say, glory be to God. Oh. But do you know? But when I know, say, if you obey him in everything, everything. If you can obey him for everything when he tell you, everything when he tell you, it is possible for God to prosper you so mightily. Is it possible say God will come prosper you so t- that instead of one car, one house, instead of one car, one house, it is possible for you to say, Daddy Gio. How many of our senior pastors need a new car? Is it possible for you to come to say, Daddy Gio, how many of our senior pastors want new cars? 
How many churches do you want me to build in one year? How many churches do you want me to make a build for one year? You know, God can bless you to such an extent. You know, say God will bless you so say You can come to me and say, Daddy, you come to say, Ah, how much is needed to finish the new auditorium? Daddy, Gio, how much you can cost to finish this new auditorium? I will do it alone. Now, let me go to one. How many of you want that kind of blessing? How many of you now want that type of blessing? Listen. They're gonna listen though. Psalm 78. For Psalm 78. Verse 41. Verse 41. Psalm 78, verse 41. For Psalm 78, verse 41. The Bible said the children of Israel limited the Holy One. The Bible can't say the children of Israel they call on the rates the Holy One. Don't limit God. Make you not underrate God though. I beg you this year. I beg on that this year. Many of us don't even know what is called wealth. Many of us don't know what it means to for someone to get money well. We have never seen it. You never see them at all. At all. When we talk about what? Oh, will they talk about plenty money? I mean, I met a man in London not too long ago. I met one man for London. You know what to do? His office. Private office for his private office so is built on twenty five acres of land. Now twenty five acres of land that they build and put. How many acres of land? How many acres of land? Uh. <laughs> office. Now only office with that too. Private office. Now a private office with that. I said, God, you are mighty. I thought say, God, are oh, you the mighty? <laughs> And yet there are, there are people here, children of the Most High God. And many people when they hear, when we will be God picking. Who will be afraid if God gives you just one acre? When we call it fear, when God gives them only one acre. But things will change from today onward. But today, oh, things will start to change. In the name that's above every other name. For the name will be say big past every other name. You will know the meaning of good success. You will know the meaning of good success. <laughs> some years ago, some apostles came here from all over the world. For some years when they passed, some apostles come this place to have a program here. They come all over the world to come do their program for a year. And uh, about two years ago, we went to visit one of them in his nation. Two years when he just passed, so we can go visit one of them for the nation, the country when he comes. I won't mention the name of the nation because, again, they are hearing me now all over the world. And I will mention the country when that one come from because they hear me all over the world. And he showed us where his church uh, headquarters is. He can show us we had the headquarters of his church day. So we went over the place and I kept on saying, Ah, wonderful, beautiful. We can't go, go see the place, walk around the place. As they go, and they say, Ah, wonderful, beautiful. At the stage, he says, Sir, stop saying wonderful. He can't reach one time. He can't say, Oh, God, I'll make you stop to say wonderful now. Everything I have is on 40 acres. Everything when we say I get now, 40 acres a day now. <laughs> Everything I have that I say wonderful, wonderful, it's not even up to your auditorium. You see, everything when we say I get not big rich your auditorium. But before he came here, he thought he was the biggest man in the world. But before he come to this place, so it isn't a church that big pass for the world. You haven't seen anything yet. But I never see anything at all. Oh. The Almighty God will take you to greater height. The Almighty God will take you to great heights. But it's up to you. Then I your hand the day. I'll tell you one story and then we'll pray. I can't tell you that one story and then we'll come go pray. I've, you've heard this story before. Many of you have not heard this story before. One of my sons, a bishop. One of my sons won't be bishop. In those days when Naira was still very powerful. In those days when BC Naira still gave value away. Well. Was sitting down in a meeting when they wanted to take the offering. He sit down for one minute when he said they won't take off free. And the Lord spoke to him and said, I want you to give 1,000 naira offering. God can tell and say, My Pekinu, I want me you can't give 1,000 as your offering. 
And at that time, 1,000 naira was like $1,000. That time, 1,000 naira be like $1,000. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. He said, Satan, go my back. <laughs> God said, it is now Satan talking to you. It's me. God can tell us, it's not be Satan they talk to you, now me they talk to you. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere. He said, and me, I know they go anywhere. <laughs> Give one thousand naira. Oh. Give one thousand naira as your offering. How can I? You say, I, I will feed you that one. So he kept on struggling. He going to continue the struggle with that voice when he talked to him. Finally, he, he decided, I, I'm not sure I'm hearing it right. So after all struggle, he said, I'm not today sure. Saying that God, they talk. Who? Well, you know that not to offend God. Well, they you know this I go offend God. You know? if just in case it is God. He gave 500 naira. But in case now God, he can't give 500 naira. A week later, a woman came to his office. After one week, a woman can't come to his office. And give him a gift of 50,000 naira. And the woman can't give him a gift of 50,000 naira. Ah, and I'm t- that was a lot of money then. He was happy. That one a big money. Oh. The man can't be happy. Oh God, you are good. Because say, Oh God, oh you are good. Oh, oh fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. It's like somebody walking into your office now, just giving you fifty million. It just be as if someone just walk out of your office, can't give you fifty million. He was happy. He did happy, way way. And then the woman was going and got to the door and then turned back and said. Pastor, I'm sorry. The woman they go before at once. When the woman reach the door, he can't just turn by. Can't say, Pastor, I beg, I did sorry you. Oh, Bishop, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, Bishop, I did sorry you. I have a confession to make. I get one confession when Mr. I go make. Okay, what is the confession? He said, Okay, what is the confession? I actually wanted to give you a hundred. Now, hundred thousand I won't give you before. But something happened, I had to spend fifty on it. Something can happen, but I can't need to spend fifty out of the hundred thousand. <laughs> the joy of the bishop vanished. The happy when the bishop be happy before vanished. And God said, I asked you to give a thousand. God can't tell us. She, I tell me, you give a thousand. You gave five hundred. You can't give five hundred. And the harvest was coming. You cut it into two. It's not me. The harvest they come. Oh, you can't cut it into two. Not be mid one now. Don't limit the holy one of Israel. Make you not the under the one, holy one of Israel. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, if you haven't done so. Come and do so quickly because the rest of us want to pray. If you know why give your life to Jesus Christ, so make you come as I can't give your life to Jesus Christ because the remaining of us so won't pray. We want to talk to the burden bearer. We are tired of laboring. Won't talk to this we person when we say they carry person while like say I don't tired to the sofa. We now want to be walking for success. We want to begin to enjoy good success. We want to the work and we the get success and want to the experience good success. So if you have not given your life to Jesus, I will count from one to five. If you don't want to give your life to Jesus Christ, I will count from one go reach five. If I say five, come and stand before me. If I to say five, make you come stand before me. And uh, we we'll pray for your salvation. Then we'll come pray for your salvation. Before we go further. Before we come continue for what will they do? I'm counting now. I don't count now. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four.
All right, those of you have already come and those of you are on the way, talk to Jesus Christ. All right, those of you now when they all come and those people when see the roads, they come. They can tell Jesus Christ. Ask him to be merciful unto you. Mona beg us, make you sorry for now. Ask him to forgive all your sins. Mona tell us, me forgive when all the sins one the Lord commit. Promise him that from now on you will serve him. Make you promise him from now on, say you will serve him. Talk to the Lord. You talk to God. And the rest of us, please stretch your hands towards these people and intercede for them. There are many of us who most stretch our hand towards these people and more can pray to God on their behalf. Pray that the Almighty God will save their souls. More pray may God save their soul. That He will forgive their sins. May forgive all their sins when they don't commit. Then give them a brand new beginning. And may God come give them a brand new beginning. Please pray for them for just one minute. And then we can pray for them for only one minute. Pray that the Savior we have mercy on them today. Save their soul. Mona, pray, say the Savior go get mercy on them when you can't save their soul. Wipe away their sins and give them a brand new beginning in Jesus Christ. And you can't clean all their sins come out from their life. And you can't give them a new beginning for inside Jesus Christ. Pray for them for another 30 seconds. And then we'll pray for them for another 30 seconds. And those of you who are still on the way, you have to hurry up now. Those of you now, when see the road, they come. Make on a hurry up, come. Oh. And Pray for your salvation. We can't pray God for your salvation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we all pray. Savior, we bless your holy name. Savior, we bless your holy name. Oh. Ancient of days, we magnify your name. The ancient of days, we magnify your name. We just want to say thank you for your word. We say thank you for the word one with all year. And thank you for these people that have come forward to surrender their lives to you. And we thank you for all these people when they come, come carry their life, give you. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. And then make you accept our thanks in Jesus' name, oh. Even as they have come, Father, please receive them in Jesus' name. Even as they don't come, I beg Papa, may you receive them in Jesus' name. Have mercy on them. Make you sorry for them, oh. Let your blood wash away their sins. Let the blood of Jesus Christ come wash away all their sins when they don't commit. Save their souls and write their names in the book of life. Make you save all their souls, oh. I mean, you can write their name for the book of life. And from now on, anytime they call on you, please answer them by fire. And from this day onward, oh, Baba God, anytime they call on you, may you they answer them by fire. And let them serve you to the very end. And may they come serve you, go reach the ending. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we don't pray. Amen. Amen. No. Well, we're going to pray one major prayer this morning. Let's stand on our feet. We'll pray one serious prayer this morning. Make all of us stand for our leg. And shout a big hallelujah to God. And make we come shout one big hallelujah, go give God. Lift our voice to the Almighty God and say, Father. We're going to carry on our voice. Go give Almighty God and say, Papa. I'm tired of laboring. Say, I don't tire to the labor. Let me begin to have good success. Make I start to get better success. Go ahead. Talk to the Almighty God. Okay, continue. May you talk to the Almighty. I'm tired of laboring. Baba, I don't start to the labor. I want to begin to have good success from now on. I want to start to enjoy good success from now on. Good success. Maybe soon as so good success I could get. I'm tired of laboring. Tired of laboring. I don't start to the labor to suffer without no resort to. I want to begin to enjoy good success. I want to get good success. I want to get results of every labor when they do. Beginning from now. Beginning from now. Good success. A good success I want. Good success. Good success. I'm tired of laboring, Lord. I'm not tired of the labor. I want to begin to enjoy good success. Good success. I want to start to enjoy good success. Good success. I want to begin to enjoy good success. I want to start to enjoy good success. Father, I'm tired of laboring. Papa, I don't start to the labor. I want to begin to enjoy good success. I want to start to enjoy good success. Good success, Father. Good success, Papa. Good success. Lord. 
Good success, Papa. Tremendous success. Better, better success. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we all pray. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Now, so it will be in Jesus' name. Now, before I pray, there are some people who wrote saying they needed a special prayer. Before I prayed, many people they when we say they write, they say they need special prayers. And they were invited to come to the divine encounter. And people can invite them to this divine encounter. Such people, please come to the altar. And may those people, may they come front, come to the altar. So I can join you for that special prayer. So if you can join you now for that special prayers. And then the rest of us, you talk to the Almighty God, everything you want Him to do for you. And there are many of us, so more we can tell God everything we want Him to do for us. In this new year. For this new year. Go ahead, discuss it with Him. Mona, continue. Mona, they discuss with Him. Only those who wrote asking for special prayers should come. Only those people who write when they request for special prayer will confront. The rest of us, let's just talk to God where we are. The many of us, here with them all remain there and most continue to talk to God. Tell him what we want him to do for us. Mona, tell her what you now want him to do for now. And those of you who, who wrote, who are coming to the altar to talk to God. Every one of you now, when you come right, I want that they come to the altar, I want to come talk to God. Tell him what you would have told me. If we sat down together in the office, when I tell God, what you go tell me if we can sit down together, they discuss this matter for office. All you wrote about in the letter, tell God about it now. Oh, what you I write for the letter, I'm gonna continue to tell God about them now. And I will join my faith with yours. And I will come join my faith with your own. And it will surprise you today. And God will come surprise you today. So let's go ahead and talk to the Almighty God for two minutes. Now, more we'll continue, more we'll to talk to God Almighty for only two minutes. Thank you, Jesus. Let us begin to bring our prayers to a close. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we all pray. Father, I want to thank you once again. Papa God, I want to thank you once more again. No? Thank you for your word. We thank you for your word. Oh, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. I better make you accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Oh. I commit all your children who are here today into your hands. I commit all these your children when they are today into your hands. Young and old. Those ones when young and the ones when they old. Please, Lord, prosper your children. Please, oh God, I may you make them better. Oh. Put an end to laboring in their life. Make you put an end to labor and suffer, suffer for their life. Oh. Let them begin to enjoy good success. From this day on, many they enjoy good success. These your children that have come with special needs. This your picking when they come when they get special requests. Almighty God, I join my faith with theirs. Almighty God, I can't carry my faith join with their own faith too. This very morning, give them their miracles. For this very morning, may they, all of them get their miracles. Give them their breakthrough. Make you give them that breakthrough when be their own. Let their testimonies begin now. Let their testimony continue now. Put an end to sorrow in their life. Make you put an end for sorrow for their life. Fill their mouths with laughter. Make you carry laughter through their mouths. Fill their homes with joy. Make you fill their home with joy. Every one of your children here this morning, my Father and my God, let 20 be the best year ever. Every one of your picking one day, let 28 be the best year for their life. (laughs) 
Father, stand by your children. Papa, may you stand by your children. No? Support them. Make you support them. Defend them. Make you defend them. Fight their battles for them. Make you fight their battle for them. Oh. Before the sun sets today, let them sing a new song. Before the sun goes set today, oh, let them start to sing new songs. Father, bless the offerings of your children. Papa God, bless the offering of this your children. Sanctify. Make you sanctify them. Oh. Use it for your glory. And then make you call use them for your own glory. And break the yoke of poverty in their lives forever. And every yoke of poverty may you break up forever from their lives. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you receive your miracle, shout a big hallelujah. If you don't receive your miracle, may you shout big hallelujah. <laughs>